course he turns, tries to dip the diagonal down, does so for Cuthbert, Ross looking around there, it takes a nick and crunch over, has to get the fingertips to that, and turn it round the post, she's been called into action a few times in this first 12 minutes. Yeah, it's a good hand from the goalkeeper, she does really well, lovely switch ball from Rachel Corsi, midfielder to midfielder, Erin Cuthbert just with a low delivery, I was expecting her maybe even to go and take the extra touch herself and, and look to get the shot off, as we see her do so often. Use possession to carry forward, Corsi for Howard. Evans points as she makes the run, had to bend it to stay on side, she'll pick it up. Jane Ross around the penalty spot, Kirsty Smith takes and strikes! It just sails over the crossbar, frustration for Kirsty Smith, who's still looking for her first senior Scotland goal. Really simple and effective football though from Scotland, isn't it? They've passed it an awful lot in this opening 23 minutes, but just a simple ball over the top from Sophie Howard. Great run from Lisa Evans. And I love the support play from Kirsty Smith. I just wonder if she really backed herself to find the ball in that area. I think she senses the pressure's coming in and looks to get the shot off. Just fails in the execution. But good play from Scotland. Brown runs away. And now takes. Sends the ball over it's towards Clark, dipping down for Howard. And it just trundles past the post. She didn't get the right direction on it, but Sophie Howard in the right area on the penalty area once again. Yeah, it's a good ball, isn't it? I was wondering, looking at Scotland with this set-up, but Fiona Brown puts a lovely ball in a real danger area. Sophie Howard, she's actually crouching down to try and get the contact on it. Doherty, three waiting in the box. Three to use it out wide. Claire Emsley, away from Mirova, goes down. The referee takes a look and awards Scotland the free kick. Just the pressure beginning to tell on the Slovakia defence. Scotland need to make this count, though. This is what you want from Claire Emsley every time she gets the ball. I found it a real frustration on Friday night that she didn't do it as often as I felt she could. And this now is a, probably Scotland's best chance. You would need to see the angle here that Erin Cuthbert's got the opportunity to go and deliver. Really difficult to defend against. Seven around for Cuthbert's free kick. It's high, and it's headed down, and it's into the back of the net. Scotland have the lead, and it's Sophie Howard. She rescued Scotland in the Nations League campaign when she scored late against Belgium, and she gets Scotland's first goal in Euro 2025 qualifying. It's Scotland 1, Slovakia 0. Yeah, it's a brilliant goal. I just felt we are sitting in a great position here, Stuart, right behind it. And I know defensively how difficult those types of balls are to go and defend against. Erin Cuthbert's over it. Sophie Howard's been the target all night from corner kicks, free kicks. She's been unlucky on a couple of occasions, but she gets it bang on the money this time. She rises tallest, she gets a good, strong connection on it. And she diverts it beyond the Slovakian goalkeeper. And you just hope now that that's a goal that Scotland needed. One, to spark a bit more life into them, but certainly two, to just give them that confidence to kick on in this game. She had a delayed reaction, which tells me everything. Cuthbert's corner, yeah. punched away by Karenciova. Jamie Lee Napier drives in, Corsi's touch! And it just trickles away from the post. Jane Ross was there, she screams for the corner kick. The referee's awarded the goal kick to Slovakia. And Scotland so close to adding a second. Yeah, they're really close. Good hand from the, the goalkeeper initially. Jamie Lee Napier puts it back into that danger area. No doubt about it, it should have been a corner. Both officials looking at each other to make the decision. And I'm not too sure, actually, if you asked her, even at her 100 cap, Stuart, if when she got to 150, that it would be as a central midfield in the middle of the park. I think even she might have been slightly surprised at that, but it just shows you how well she's looked after her body and that she, she's still able to perform at the levels that she does. Slovakia are building well here. Sembri over, gets to the line, it's cut back, it's towards Matovkova, and she has a second chance. It comes through and it's poked in, but it won't count. The flag is raised. It's offside, but scrappy in the box from Scotland there. And that's a big, big warning for Scotland. Yeah, it's really scrappy, certainly is a warning. No doubt she's in an offside position. That does come off the, the Scotland player, but nevertheless, 
Scotland just need to tidy things up. Too many errors creeping into the game in the last five or ten minutes. A bit lackadaisical. There's still threat there. That's why Scotland will be looking for a second goal. The last quarter of the game to go. It would give them a little bit more breathing space. And then Cuthbert's looking to lead from the front now. It'll drop to Jane Ross, who has time. It's stopped by Karenciova. A superb save. And Jane Ross, normally so deadly from those kind of positions, unable to give Scotland a second. That's a big, big chance, isn't it? This is lovely play right enough, but you don't really too often see any player get the better out of Cuthbert. She does so, so well just to win the ball. But I just wonder if Jane Ross could have just been braver, a bit braver and just took it on first time as it dropped here. Take it on with the right foot, but she does. She swivels really well, actually, to get it on to the left and she just doesn't get enough on it. Referee blows the full-time whistle. Scotland pick up the three points. It's a first competitive win for Pedro Martinez Losa since October 2022. The 1-0 win against Austria here at Hamden. And Sophie Howard is the goal scorer. A big, big player for Scotland in defence, but also in attack. She rescued a point against Belgium in the Nations League here. And tonight she helps Scotland to all three points. And it's three points on top of the one picked up in Serbia and Scotland will now join at the top of the group Serbia who were 4-2 winners against Israel both set on four points